Two new variants of China's stealth fighters have broken cover in the past three days, including China's next carrier-based fighter, hinted at during a recent air show. Photos and videos taken outside the Chengdu Aircraft Factory in its namesake city on Tuesday showed a 2-seat J-20 stealth fighter in overall primer, confirming persistent rumors such a variant was being developed by the company. If confirmed, then this FC-31 or J-31 will be China's second stealth aircraft after the J-20 Mighty Dragon. The latest photographs show a prototype flying for the first time, and it's the first stealthy carrier-capable fighter created outside the U.S., which boasts its Navy's F-35C and F-35B short takeoff-slash-vertical landing jets, used by the Marine Corps. The photos and video, posted on Weibo and other social media portals, distinctly showed the aircraft's tandem cockpit as it taxied toward the runway for takeoff. It's not clear what role the backseater would play, although a logical explanation would be that the rear seat would be occupied by a weapon system officer, or WSO, responsible for operating the J-20S radar, weapons, and loyal wingman. It has also been suggested the two-seat J-20, whose exact designation is as yet unknown, would be a manned-unmanned teaming mothership, controlling China's version of a loyal wingman or other unmanned combat aerial vehicle, or UCAV. The latest Chinese aircraft has been labeled a variation of the FC-31 by some local plane spotters. A prototype of the land-based FC-31 was first flown in October 2012, but is yet to secure a purchase order from the PLA or any foreign county. The new aircraft features the same twin canted tail fins, twin engines, and high-mounted cockpit as that of the FC-31, but it also includes a catapult launch bar and a wingfold mechanism indicating that it's designed for carrier missions. The photos also confirm the aircraft, whose exact designation is also unknown and is also left in primer, is a development of the redesigned Shenyang FC-31 stealth fighter, which has also been called the J-31 in some quarters and was previously suggested as an export design. The photos, taken while the aircraft was in flight, show the catapult launch bar on the nose landing gear and what appears to hinge on the wings that allow them to be folded, a typical feature of carrier-based aircraft to allow the limited space on the flight deck and hangars to be maximized. This new fighter is expected to operate from the upcoming Type 003 carrier, as it is prepared for catapult operations from the start. Rather than depending on the ski jump ramps installed on the PLA Navy's previous two carriers, Liaoning and Shandong, the Type 003 design is intended to be outfitted with an electromagnetic aircraft launch system. Satellite photos of the Jiangnan Chongqing shipyard where the Type 003 carrier is being built suggest the Type 003 will be equipped with three catapults and will be roughly the same size as the U.S. Navy's Gerald R. Ford-class carriers. A silhouette of the FC-31 surfaced on the Aviation Industry Corporation of China's Weibo microblogging site in December 2019, after which Shenyang revealed the development of a new fighter, fueling rumors that it was the long-awaited FC-31 carrier variant, however, no details were offered. The People's Liberation Army Navy has already shown interest in acquiring a naval version of the FC-31, the KJ-600 and J-15T are all up in the air. A naval variant of the FC-31, which would also require heavier landing gear, could be ready in the near future. These capabilities will surely aid the People's Liberation Army Navy in accomplishing its long-term goal of establishing a Blue Water Navy.